just breathe. <sighs> there's a couple of things I want to do. Uh, there's a like a few cosmetic improvements that I would like to make to the studio. I am going to be posting a studio tour very soon. And there's just a few more things that I want to do to it before I give like the official tour. I'm gonna do like a little mini haul because I went to Walmart earlier. I'm struggling with the lighting as you can see. This corner of the room is very dark. I went out and bought a lamp. And then if you come this way, please, let's take you over to this corner. Zoom in here for you. It is a little bit worse for wear. I inherited it with all the paint stains and stuff on it, which is fine. Item number two on our list from Walmart is this contact paper, which I'm going to cover this table with. And this cute little trash can matches the color of my rug. Welcome back to my studio. What day is it? Today is Thursday, July 27th. So I have just gotten to the studio. I got off of work. So I got off of work about three, yeah, three hours ago. And then I stopped at Joann's. So I'll do a little bit of a Joann's haul. Also stopped home to pick up the very many items that I bought off of Amazon. So the first part of this video is gonna be art, su is it art supply, no, studio supply haul. Let's start with the, let, let's start with the Joanne haul. Joanne! All right, so one thing that I got was this cute little bag. Life is better with friends. I could not get it. Some fabric, lots of fabric. Did I need this much? No, but it's also gorgeous. Um, you can't really see it. You can have a look-see. The gold elements are metallic, so they shiny. This is gonna be the cushion for my bench. And these are gonna be the accent pillow covers. Hello, you're really close to my face. <laughs> the only other thing that I got was some paint, which I'm going to use for the mural. I didn't have the right kind of blue the first time I did it. I'm gonna correct as much of it as I can because with that bench over there, I'm not really gonna be able to get like behind there. All the parts that you can see, I'm gonna touch it up and make it look better. That is what I got from Joanne. How am I gonna do this? Let's start with the smallest box. So I went on a little bit of an Amazon shopping spree because I knew that this studio update was, or sorry, the studio tour was gonna be coming up and I just thought to myself what are the things that I dislike about my studio right now that I can easily fix for not that much money okay so lots of fun things like velcro 
I bought some Velcro strips. I also bought more exciting stuff. Tape. I bought some masking tape. Okay, more. Very exciting stuff. You know, you being so far away is kind of problematic. It's just a little charger block. Yep, I got two of those. I also bought an electric stapler. Some lights. That's box number one. Box number two. What's in it? What's in it? It's a part of the thing not to know. So I'm gonna get this off of here because I'm gonna drop stuff. I got two of these. More on that later. Yeah. He's phone. Ben. Yes. Got one more thing. <gasps> yeah. This thing is uncomfortable. It's not even mine. The absolute most uncomfortable. <laughs> it's the chair. And that's all I got. And now I need to clean. So let's clean. Bye. studio. Today is Monday, July 31st, and we have some more stuff we have to unpack over here. We stopped and got a little breakfast, and then we made a plan for today. Well, not so much just for today, but like for this week. What I'm going to do is eat my breakfast and have a sit down and try to make a plan for the day based off of the loose plan over there that you can't really see. So yeah, I'm gonna get my tripod out of the wagon thing and just kind of get set up, get my notebooks out, make a plan, and we'll get started. Sometimes anxiety grips me so hard I feel disoriented. Almost like it rips me away from the present and takes me to a place of inky despair. Hope is obscured, nothing makes sense, and all I can feel is my heart racing. As I continue to learn about myself and how to channel my creativity, I found that planning and writing things out are fundamental tools to prevent me from feeling trapped inside a maze of overwhelm. My mind is constantly running, constantly analyzing, constantly criticizing everything that I do. Breathe. Just focus on what you can do, on what you've already done. What about the bench cushion? I haven't tried it out yet, let's see how it looks. This isn't so bad. I take little steps to try and regain my momentum. I finally got the bulbs for the new lamp. That'll be an easy box to tick. Success on whatever path we choose takes a great deal of self-discipline, and I don't get it right every time. But every step is another opportunity for adventure for discovery, for growth, for life. Okay, so 
I just finished taping the seams for the wallpaper and it already looks a lot better than it did but I am gonna go ahead and paint over the seams because obviously in areas where it's darker you can totally tell that there's tape there and I don't really like that um, but I do like just that subtle change there's no more gaps in between the panels so it is coming together nicely um, so I have to go out to get a couple of su supplies to be able to finish painting this. I need some some containers that I can mix paint in and I think that's it actually that's all I need for that and then I want to paint these shells here. Try to spray paint that one. I didn't really like how it was looking so I kind of gave up on it but now I'm gonna just kind of hand paint those and hand painting them is probably not the best idea but Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to open up the chair and see if I can um, reupholster it. I also don't know if I have enough stitches to be able to reupholster it right now. Because I bought a staple gun and no staples. Like, I bought two lamps. And both times, did not buy light bulbs for the lamps. Lamps, but no light bulbs. Buy a staple gun and no staples. I don't know, I'm not thinking things through. <laughs> trying to, but... Oh dear. Okay. this so and it doesn't have to be covered in this fabric but why not <laughs> except it doesn't go on my rug I might get rid of this rug dude <laughs> wouldn't that be cute how tight they are wow I did it y'all solid black background and not mess with this at all and basically just have it come around like that oh it worked Kind of a mess in here right now, but I'm gonna take like 10 minutes to just kind of tidy up 
And then I'm gonna start working on my studio lights. Okay, so here's the thing. The studio lights that I made are quite simply just LED strips that I wrapped around some shadow frames that I got from Michael. So, yeah. But hey, they work. 12 by 12 sheet of this. But look at that, that that's nice. Uh, and then we just diffuse it. Let's see if you can change the color. Yeah. It's kinda cool. I mean, it it is what it is and it's like it's nice. I'm happy with it. Okay. There you go. Is it like crude? Yes. But is it effective? Oh my, look who it is. It's you. <laughs> Welcome back to the studio. I recorded this whole segment and then realized that I did not turn my microphone on, so it was just quiet. Just me showing you stuff and talking to the camera and you couldn't hear anything, so that's cool. <sighs> so anyway, here's what we're dealing with. The tape I put up is not sticky enough, so my plan is to add some extra adhesive to the tape basically because um I mean it's already up there it's only halfway peeling and it doesn't have to be perfect hopefully that's not an indication of what will happen if I try to paint over it though because that might actually be a bad thing got off of work at 3 30 and came straight here so I'm tired um I said some other stuff before and now I don't remember what I said yeah so I'm just gonna do this wallpaper the tape. Oh, and the paper apparently. Oops. Gross. My hands are all sticky now. I need gloves. Okay. We don't like that. The only problem is I probably need to do that to like the whole piece of tape and I'm really not willing to do that. <laughs> to be completely honest, I'm just not willing. Because I don't think it's 100% necessary. I don't want to, but for No, we're not. Okay, it's not coming all the way up, is it? Oh, jeez, you guys. This is not what I wanted to do. I feel like I'm making it worse. And there's some other stuff I want to do in here. But it's not like necessary. None of this stuff that I'm doing right now is even necessary for me. For me to give you a proper studio tour. It's just I had a like an initial vision for this place when I first saw it, and I'm just trying to get it to that. So at least I can say that I did, you know, I got it to where I wanted it to be. I wish this wasn't so, like, stupid. The seams are now glued, and I'm going to mix up some paint. Probably need about five colors and paint the seams, and hopefully get this done in a relatively short amount of time. <laughs> so let's bring it to the work table, where we will mix up some paint. According to 
Here are our colors. We have the two blues, two yellows, and uh, purple. Paints and brushes and some water if I need it. And there's paper towels. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> there's paper towels on the card if I need them, but let's just get started. So the whole objective was to tape up the seams and then kind of paint a nice little transition. Ended up having to do a little bit more painting because I didn't have the original colors that I used when I created the wallpaper, so I did the best I could. Um, is it perfect? No. If you're closer to look, you can see where the tape is, which is fine, I don't really care. But, you know, no, it just looks like one nice seamless piece. Except for when you look really closely, <laughs> which is fine. I still think it looks nicer. So now I gotta clean up all my mess and pack it up and go home. But one thing I was just loving, for one, this little mobile cart was perfect for this project. But look at how all these colors match. <laughs> Here's from this angle. I really like it. I'm happy with how it turned out. So, cleaning up and going home. Continue. Oh, I have to decide. Options extras actually did kind of do something like extras. This has to be unlocked. Ooh, you can do that at the end of each video, actually. I'm going to need to get some uh, gloves so that I can avoid this. See you in the studio tour.